Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by In The Money Stocks. Today is Friday, October 5th, 2018. My name is Nick Santiago. Thank you all for tuning in this morning. All right, today we have the S&P 500 E-mini futures trading lower by two and a half points to 2905 and a quarter per contract. Now, just a few moments ago, we had the non-farm payroll report. That report is a little bit skewed this month because of the hurricane that hit North Carolina. So I don't think we can make too much out of it, but unemployment did hit its lowest rate, I believe, since the 60s. So again, very, very strong report overall, and we'll see how the market handles it. The uh, average uh, job growth number was a little bit on the weaker side. I believe it increased by 134,000. Uh, I think consensus was for 184,000. But again, not uh, the North Carolina hurricane throws that a little bit out of whack. And we'll see how it plays out. But all in all, uh, this is a market that has been very, very volatile this week. So stay tuned. It could have a volatile Friday. We'll see what we get. But um, right now, the Goldilocks number... Uh, for jobs looks to be in place if you ask me all right let's talk about a couple of other things here bond yields bond yields are moving higher you're going to see bond yields now trading at 3.221 percent uh, pretty good move there for yields they are moving up after the job number will the market be spooked uh, possibly but we'll see where we go again i think the market today um, can take a little bit of a break from the selling but we'll see what we get all right, let's move over to the dollar now. What you're going to see here for the dollar, the dollar today is moving lower. Started out very, very strong, now coming down. Lower dollar usually benefits stocks for the most part. Uh, right now, the dollar backing off pretty pretty much today so far. We'll see where this goes. This could be a wild one. Next up, we want to take a look at stocks in the news. We're going to start the day off with the big one, Costco, really the only big company that reported. Uh, and what you're going to see here is stock is trading at around 224, closed at 231.68. So this is a good little haircut. There's a fair amount of support here, but a better level today would be around the 219 Pierce. If it gets there, I do like that level a lot for Costco. Again, $219, maybe $218.75. Somewhere in that window, uh, you'll have very good support intraday for Costco. Now, in sympathy, sometimes you got to watch Target. Target can sometimes take its cue. It's not doing much this morning. Walmart is another one that could follow Costco. Uh, that right now is trading at $93.95 down from the 9421 close so keep those on the radar and we'll see if they play out in sympathy you have hpq which had earnings yesterday downgraded today i believe it's by jp morgan but you could check that for yourself so that's getting a little bit of a haircut closed at 26 42 yesterday i think that was a new 52 week high today that's trading at 2570 so pulling back a little bit from what i can see and all in all when i look at this one um, you're probably going to hit some support shortly around the $25 area. So we'll see how that plays out. Tesla is in the news again. Again, Elon Musk uh, really mocking the SEC in a tweet. Called them, I forget what he actually said, the Short Seller Enrichment Commission. Uh, stock right now is trading at 273.75, closed at 281. So again, I don't think that was too smart to say, but nonetheless, he did it. Let's go to uh, Mylan MYL. That is downgraded. This stock has really been stuck in the mud for quite a while. Um, <clears throat> only level that interests me today would be around $34 if it gets there. So keep that on the radar. Right now, this is trading at $35.50, closed at $36.03. So there's not a whole lot there. Let's shift gears here a little bit. Let's go over to the gold market. Gold is getting a bid, trading up $5.50 to $1,207 and 20 cents an ounce if you take a look at the gld that's been all over the map just like the dollar just the opposite this is trading at 113.86 on the gld gld is a good etf to track the movement in spot gold next up we have crude oil today trading higher by 23 cents crude sold off in a big way yesterday today it's upticking just a little bit right now spot crude sitting at 74 dollars and 57 cents a barrel if you take a look at the uso you're going to see that is trading at 1575 basically right where it closed yesterday so there you have it we'll keep today's report short and sweet 
Again, we'll see how this market uh, plays out once the opening bell rings. Again, you're going to have gold in play, the dollar in play, and more important, bond yields are in play today. With that being said, everybody, have a great session. If you haven't done so, come on over. Take that seven-day free trial to the intraday stock chat room. We've had a great 2018, great day yesterday. And again, uh, we get action like that. We're going to get another repeat. So you want to come on over, check it out. You can trade right alongside of us. With that being said, everybody, have a great session. We'll see you on the charts.